short U. The letter U can stand for different sounds. Today, we are going to study the short U vowel sound, uh, and read some words that have this sound. Repeat after me as I say the letter, keyword, and sound for short U. The letter is U, the keyword is up, and the sound for short U is uh. Repeat after me, U, up, uh. Listen for the sound uh in the word under. Let's repeat the word, this time segmenting it sound by sound. Uh, n, d, er, under. Notice that the uh sound can come at the beginning of a word, such as in the words up and under. Now listen for the sound uh in the word mud. Let's repeat the word, this time segmenting it sound by sound. M, a, d, mud. Notice that the a uh sound can come in the middle of a word, such as in the words mud and luck. The word below is k, a, t, cut. The letters in cut have a consonant vowel consonant CVC pattern. In a consonant vowel consonant pattern, the vowel usually makes the short vowel sound. You may now go to the try it section and then the show what you know section of the lesson. R controlled vowels. Some letters can control the sound of other letters near them. In this lesson, you'll see how the letter R can change a vowel's sound. Some people even call the letter R bossy since it takes over and controls the sound of the vowel it follows. Let's learn about how the letter R can take over and control the vowels A, E, I, O, and U. First, we'll start with AR. When the letter A comes before an R in a word, the bossy R changes the sound that A makes. We call this an R-controlled vowel, and you will notice that all of the R-controlled vowels we talk about today are on red tiles with the vowels that they control. The sound that the R-controlled vowel AR makes is R, such as in the word car. When a syllable contains an R-controlled vowel, it often looks like a closed syllable or short vowel syllable, but the syllable is not considered closed and the vowel is not short. It is R-controlled. Here are a few examples of words that contain the R-controlled vowel A-R. Repeat the words after I say them. Far. Dart, smart. Now, let's take a look at ER, IR, and UR. Remember, when the letters E, I, or U come before an R in a word, the bossy R changes the sounds they make. The sound that these R-controlled vowels make is ER such as in the words her, surf, and bird. Once again, you will see the ER, UR, and IR on red tiles because the R is joined with the vowel it controls. Last, we'll explore the R-controlled vowel OR. When the letter O comes before an R in a word, the bossy R changes the sound the O makes. The sound that the R-controlled vowel OR makes is OR, such as in the word horn. Remembering R-controlled vowels, keywords, and the sounds will help you when trying to read words that contain R-controlled vowels. AR Car, R. ER, 
her, er. You are, surf, er. I are, bird, er. And, o r, horn, or. Let's practice identifying vowel spots, dividing the syllables, and identifying the different syllable types so we can read multisyllabic words. In this first word, I can see that there are two vowel spots, the AR and the ER. Both of them are R-controlled vowels. I know that the number of syllables that a word has is based on the number of vowel spots. So because there are two vowel spots, there are two syllables in this word. Now I need to determine where I will split these two syllables. I know that each syllable needs to contain a vowel spot, so I need to look at the letters between these two vowel spots to determine where to divide. When there are two consonants side by side in the middle of a multisyllabic word, you divide the syllables by splitting the consonants. So I would divide the syllables between the T and the N. The first syllable contains the R-controlled AR vowel, which says R. Because the syllable contains an R-controlled vowel, this syllable type is R-controlled, and I would read this syllable as part. The second syllable also contains an R-controlled vowel, it contains the ER. Therefore, this is also an R-controlled syllable. I would read the second syllable as NER. If I put these two syllables together, I would read part NER, partner. In this next word, I can see that once again, there are two vowel spots. I see the E at the beginning, and the R-controlled vowel ER at the end. Therefore, this word has two syllables. Next, I will look at the letters between these two vowel spots to determine where to split the syllables. Once again, this word has two consonants in the middle of this multisyllabic word, and so we divide the syllables between those two consonants, N and T. Now it's time to identify the syllable types. The first syllable has the vowel E and it is closed in by the consonant N. Therefore, this is a closed syllable. In closed syllables, the vowel makes the short vowel sound. So the first syllable would be pronounced N. The second syllable contains the R controlled vowel ER, which says ER. Therefore, this would be an R-controlled syllable, and I would pronounce the second syllable, ter. If I put these two syllables together, I would read en ter, enter. In this next word, I can see that there are two vowel spots, the O-R and the A. This means that there are two syllables in this word. When I look to divide these syllables, I have to look at the letters between these two vowel spots. There's only one consonant between these two vowel spots because the R is linked to the vowel O. It's an R-controlled vowel. Because there's only one consonant between the vowel spots, most of the time you will divide the syllable before that consonant in the middle. So we would divide the syllable before the M and that consonant would go with that second syllable. When reading the first syllable, it contains the R-controlled vowel OR. So the syllable type is R-controlled. The OR says OR and I would read the first syllable as FOR. The second syllable has a consonant, vowel, consonant pattern. The vowel in the second syllable is closed in by the consonant T, making the second syllable a closed syllable. When a syllable is closed, the vowel makes the short vowel sound. So the A in this syllable would say A, ah, and I would read the second syllable as mat. When putting these two syllables together, I would read 
for mat, format. When looking at this last word, I can see that it has three vowel spots, the IR, the A, and the E. But I also know when I see a vowel, consonant, E spelling pattern in a word or syllable that the E is silent and you do not read it when you say the word. And so therefore, we are going to cross out that E leaving us with two vowel spots. Next, I'm going to divide these syllables. I know that when there are two consonants in the middle of a multisyllabic word, that I divide the syllables between those two consonants. So I'm going to draw a line between the consonant D and the consonant C. This leaves me with my first syllable, which contains an R-controlled vowel, IR, and that R-controlled vowel says ER. This would be an R-controlled syllable, and I would read this syllable as BIRD. The second syllable contains the vowel consonant silent E pattern, making it a VCE or vowel consonant silent E syllable. I know that when there is a VCE silent E pattern, that the first vowel is a long vowel, and so it says the name of the letter. And so in this second syllable, the A is going to say A. So I would read this second syllable as cage. When putting these two syllables together, I would read bird cage, bird cage. You may now go to the try it section and then the show what you know section of the lesson. Consonant LE syllable type. Some syllable types can show up in different parts of a multisyllabic word. However, some cannot. We call syllables that can only show up at the end of a word final stable syllables. Not only can final stable syllables only come at the end of a word, they are always pronounced the same way. In this lesson, you will be learning about the consonant LE syllable type. The consonant LE syllable type is a final stable syllable. The consonant LE syllable has very specific patterns. The pattern that we will be learning about today has three letters, and so you will see three tiles at the bottom of the screen. Two of the three letters are always the same, L and E. Remember, the consonant LE will always end with the letters L and E, so these two letters will come at the end of the syllable. Let's add the consonant G in front of the LE. The E is silent in consonant LE syllables. Let's slash the E to signal it's silent and read the G and L together. Goal. Remember, the E is needed because every syllable needs a vowel, so its job is to act as the vowel in the syllable even though you don't say its sound when reading the word. Here are some examples of some other consonants that can come in front of the final stable syllable consonant LE. ZLE. When reading this syllable, I need to make sure that I slash the E to indicate that it's silent, and I would pronounce this syllable ZOL. BLE. Once again, I'm going to slash that E to indicate that it's silent, and I would pronounce this syllable BULL. TLE. I'm going to go ahead and slash that E to make sure that we know it's silent, and I would pronounce this syllable, toll. Look at the multisyllabic word below. We'll start by marking the vowel spots. When dividing the syllables, you would divide after the A and before the B so that the three letters in the consonant LE are together to form that final syllable. I'm going to go ahead and draw a line to separate the BLE and divide the syllables. Now that we've done this, what kind of syllable is the first syllable? 
If you said open, you are correct. We know that when a syllable is open, it ends in a vowel, and the vowel makes the long vowel sound. So the first syllable in this word would be pronounced tay. The second syllable is consonant le. Remember, with consonant le, the e at the end is silent, and so we would pronounce the second syllable bull. When I put these two syllables together, it would be pronounced table. Table. Now take a look at the next multisyllabic word. I'm going to go ahead and mark the vowel spots. Remember, when dividing the syllables, we need to keep the consonant le by itself at the end of the word. So we would divide before the second d to keep them together. What kind of syllable is the first syllable? If you said closed, you are correct. We've learned that closed syllables have a vowel that is closed in by the consonant. And when this happens, the vowel makes the short vowel sound. So this first syllable would be read as rid. Our second syllable is the consonant le. We learned today that the E in the consonant LE syllable is silent. So when reading this syllable, it would be pronounced dull. When putting these two syllables together, we would read rid dull, riddle. Why does the extra D need to be added in the word riddle? The second D needs to be there to make the first syllable closed, causing the vowel to be short. Without it, the spelling would be R-I-D-L-E, and the syllables would be divided R-I and D-L-E. This would make the first syllable an open syllable, and the vowel would be long. Riddle is not a real word. The first D is needed to close the first syllable and create a real word, riddle. Here are some other examples. Fiddle. Puddle. Let's practice dividing the syllables and reading the following multisyllabic words. The first thing we need to do is identify the vowel spots. We notice that there is a consonant LE as the second syllable, and so when we have the consonant LE, we need to keep that together. And so we are going to draw a line between the A and the B to divide these syllables and keep that consonant LE together. After we do this, we want to identify what that first syllable is. And so if the first syllable ends in a vowel, what kind of syllable would that be? If you said open, you are correct. What kind of vowel sound would that vowel in the first syllable make? If you said the long vowel sound, you are correct. So how would we read this first syllable? If you said fe, you are correct. Let's take a look at the second syllable. What type of syllable is the second syllable? The second syllable is the consonant le syllable. What do we know about the vowel in the consonant le syllable? If you said that the E is silent, you are correct. So how would we read this second syllable? If you said bull, you are correct. Let's put these two syllables together. When we do that, what word is created? If you said fable, you are correct. 
Here is our second word. First, we're going to identify the vowel spots. Again, we notice that consonant LE at the end of the word, and so we need to keep that together. In order to do this, we would divide between the two G's. Now that we've done that, what type of syllable is created in the first syllable? If you said closed, you are correct. What type of sound does the vowel make in a closed syllable? If you said a short vowel sound, you are correct. How would we read this first syllable? We would read this first syllable as gig. Let's look at the second syllable. What type of syllable is our second syllable? If you said consonant LE, you are correct. Once again, what do we know about the vowel in a consonant LE syllable? If you said that the vowel would be an E and it is silent, you are correct. How would you read this second syllable? You would read the second syllable as gull. When putting these two syllables together, what word is created? If you said giggle, you are correct. Take a look at our last word. We'll start by marking the vowel spots. You should notice that the first vowel spot contains an R-controlled vowel. Remember, we learned that when a vowel is followed by an R, it controls the sound that the vowel makes. You should also notice the consonant LE pattern at the end of this word. We learned today that when we have that consonant LE pattern at the end of a word, we need to keep it together. So when dividing this word into syllables, we would draw a line between the R-controlled AR and the consonant B. When I look at this first syllable, what type of syllable do I have? If you said an R-controlled syllable, you are correct. How would we pronounce this first syllable? We would pronounce the first syllable as mar. Take a look at the second syllable. What type of syllable is the second syllable? If you said consonant LE, you are correct. We know that in a consonant LE syllable that the E is silent. So how would you read this second syllable? If you said bull, you are correct. Put those two syllables together and read the word. If you read the word marble, you are correct. You may now go to the try it section and then the show what you know section of the lesson.